Hi everybody, this is Darren again at the Campbell Cabin. And today, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to do a review on my Tilly hat. Now, I know you all have uh, seen... You all have seen me wearing this hat now for my videos with all the firewood. And... Uh, I wasn't going to do a review channel, but I decided to maybe do a couple reviews, talk about a couple things that are important to me that I feel are essential for working outside. If you're going to work outside, you need some sun protection. You need a hat. And so I felt the same way, oh, at least 20 years ago. When I bought my first Tilly hat and I was at the doctor and the doctor was checking my head out and my back and, and well, I'll say we ended up blasting quite a few, they called it precancerous things. So uh, I can say I went for the search. I went on a search for the ultimate hat and I come up with the Tilly hat. And this is it. It's quite a doozy. I'm thrilled with this hat. And this is my third one now. I've had three Tilly hats over 20 years. And the first one lasted at least eight, nine years. And I, uh, the only reason I got rid of it was because I sent it back to Tilly Endurables after I destroyed it. And with the Tilly hat, what you do is you put it on in the morning, and if, if you slide it on your head, and if it's just too tight, you take it off of there, and then you take and you pull on it with your knee, and you want this hat to set. You want it to rest right down. You want the top of the hat to hit the top of your head, and you, you want to be able to spin it. You don't want so much pressure you can't think straight. So, anyway, that's how it is on this cold mountain. We got everybody blowing the horn at me today, and that's fine because they know me. So, anyway, so I was going over the first reason why I got a new Tilly hat, and I ripped it trying to stretch it, and uh, I tore it. So I sent it back to Tilly, and dang it, they sent me a brand new hat. So that one lasted another five years, and I ended up getting a bunch of paint on it. I was wearing it one day while I was painting a deck somewhere, and I got paint all over it, and it looked really bad, and I didn't realize it, and uh, couldn't get it off, so I ordered another one. Now I got one with paint on it. This one actually has a little paint on it too, but Anyway, so, it's made by Tilly Endurables, and it's uh, made in Canada, and it has excellent UV protection. It floats, it actually floats, and uh, it has an unlimited lifetime warranty. You have problem, it tears, you send it back. And so I just kind of wanted to go over all that. And, and, it, and it looks kind of, yeah, it kind of looks a little bit over the top for a hat. I'm used to it by now. And I do know, I'll tell you a story, tell you a couple stories about it. Uh, I used to be a contractor framing houses. And uh, there was a time where I knew, knew a guy that made, he made fun of me. He was putting siding on. And so, uh, so he would see me coming with my Tilly hat and he'd start calling me Crocodile Dundee and he laughed at me. Oh, that hat's, it's over the top. That's just, you should be a movie star, he said. Um, well, I, I said, well, okay, you know, I like it. It protects me from the sun. So he, he poked fun at me for a couple months and then one day he came to work. He had a Tilly hat. And his whole crew had a Tilly hat. So, that's how it goes. 
it's a good hat. And my father ended up buying one, and my brother has one. And I can't say how well they work, and they hold up, and they keep the sun off of your head. That's what is most important. So if you're out doing your firewood, and you're getting a lot of sun, you need to put a hat on your head. Get one that you can count on, and you can take care of, and you can just take care of it for a long time, and wash it, and clean it, and you know when you're going outside, you're putting your Tilly hat on, just like you guys see me in all the videos. So, I can't say enough about it. I guess I've already said about as much as I can. So I guess I, I'm going to put a little little clip on here about how I take care of it, how I clean my Tilly hat, and keep it looking, eh, kind of good. Okay, everybody. Now, I'm going to show you how I wash clean my Tilly hat at the Campbell cabin. We are in the cabin utility basement and it is utility. So what I do, I use a little bit of laundry detergent and then I use cold water. You could use a little bit of maybe maybe warm water, tiny bit, but don't make it hot because you'll make it shrink. So, fill that bowl up with laundry detergent and water. Mix a bunch of soap. As you can see, now it's kind of nasty. You can see the stain around it a little bit. It's kind of gross. And everybody knows, everybody that has had a hat, works outside, they get nasty. So, how I keep it clean, fill that bowl, water and detergent. Then I take a small scrub brush, get the hat in there, and I just basically scrub it. Get the hat saturated. And I take my little scrubby with my soapy water. Now, it does say, which I will show you inside the top of the Tilly hat, machine washable. Now, for a hat like this, I don't think I would use washing machine. I'm afraid to mess it up or having any premature wear. I just keep that water going in there, a little bit of soapy water. And just scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. Especially around where your head is. Yeah. That's the bottom side. Now you can see it's, it is it is stained because it's old. I just scrub it. And look out. Soap is flying here. Vigorous. Anybody ever hand wash their clothes, they know what I'm doing here. Get a lot of soap. Scrub it good. Scrub it good. So, now what I do, once it's all scrubbed up there, you all got the, the idea. Turn the water on. Rinse it out real well. And once you rinse it out, just thoroughly rinse it out. You don't want that soap resting on your head, irritating your head. So, here we go. We're going to rinse it out. Then, next I'm going to show you how I, as you can see, uh-oh, look at the Tilly hat. Look at that. That ain't working. Uh, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how we shape it. Now, 
we just washed the Tilly hat and now I'm going to show you how I shape the Tilly hat to keep it looking like a Tilly hat. Now, it's all nice and wet and it still looks pretty good, but I assure you a long time ago I did not do this and it come out it needed stretched a lot. So, what I do, take my little Tupperware salad bowl, put that on there. Then I give it a couple layers of towel. Like so, and I stretch it. Yep, I'm going to give it another layer of towel somehow. A little more. There. Now it's nice and tight. So, I put it down, stretch it. Over the bowl. Once I stretch it over the bowl, I can shape it in the bowl. We'll keep it nice and shapely to fit around my big head. So, thanks YouTube, and if you like the Tilly hat review, could you subscribe and maybe give me a like? I would appreciate it, and thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good day. Hi everybody. This is Darren again, the Campbell Cabin, and the door don't shut. <laughs>